Hey everyone, what's up? You know where we are, the Video Village. And in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this fly-through title effect. And no doubt you've seen this in uh, TV commercials and films, and in fact in the opening title sequence of the show Stranger Things right before they go into the episode. There's a final credit and we fly through it and suddenly we are in the episode. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect uh, in DaVinci Resolve right here in the editing timeline. It's actually a very, very simple thing to accomplish. Then we're going to jump over to Adobe After Effects and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to take it just a little bit further. We're going to add some interactive elements with our title for a more dramatic effect. Volcano. I mean, who doesn't like a good volcano, right? I actually think this was a much better film than the previously mentioned volcano, but be that as it may, let's jump back over and get started. Here is a sample of what we are going to be creating. Okay, so let's talk about the concept of what we're building here. So the idea is that you have a title for, you know, a film or a documentary or maybe a music video or whatever it is. And then inside of this title is that story or that other world. And, and when we start, we're kind of outside of it. And then as we move toward the title and through the title, we enter that world or that story or that show or whatever it might be. And this is something that's been used before and it's a really, really cool idea and it can be done very, very effectively. Now, one thing I want to point out is that this type of a treatment works especially well with moving footage. So you'll notice that the stock footage I chose was a moving shot. It's a drone, it's following this vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful scenery some nice color contrast between the orange and the, and the teals and the blues. And we've got snow on the mountains. So it's, it's quite a spectacular view. But it's also, like I said, as you notice, it's moving. So what ends up happening is when we do this effect, when we push into the title, that background is also moving. And it creates a very strong sense of parallax and creates a sort of 3D feel to it. And so as you can see, this makes it a very, very um, effective treatment. Now let's take the same idea, but with a completely different background. So let's just say this is a title for our show and let's go ahead and let's call this show. And now let's see what happens. So we get a very different feeling from this. And, you know, just looking at this critically, this is not nearly as immersive as this previous example where the shot is moving. You don't have that same sense of parallax. In fact, the background is it's just a static shot. And again, there's nothing really wrong with this approach. You could absolutely do this, but the effect isn't nearly as dramatic as it is when we're in a moving shot. Now, if you really needed to, let's say, build a title and you were going to move through it and you're going to move into your story, and let's say this is for a short film or something, and you wanted to add just a little bit of punch to this, here's what I would recommend doing. I would recommend using a little bit of a dynamic zoom on the footage back here to give it a sort of an artificial feeling of movement. And what I mean by that is let's come over here to our dynamic zoom. 
And let's take our start a little bit wider and our end. Remember, green is the start, red is where we end. And so we're just making the footage in the background move just a little bit in. So now, when we move with the title, that footage is also moving. And so now we have this feeling like we're entering that world. Okay, so how do we set this up? So let's just break this down from the start. So let's grab our footage. Okay, so let's just drop it on our timeline. This is let's pretend it's a brand new timeline and we're just dropping our footage on here. One thing I should mention too is um, in my project settings, in my timeline, this timeline is set for 23,976 frames per second or 24p essentially. When I got this piece of stock footage, the frames per second was 25. So when you put a 25 or greater, anything more than 23,976 in here, you're going to start to lose frames. It's going to start to jump. So as you're playing back, you're going to notice that it might jump a few frames. That's because we're putting a clip with more frames into a timeline with that reads fewer frames. And so we're getting a jump. And so the way to fix that is I brought in this footage. You right click on it and you go to clip attributes. This is in DaVinci, clip attributes. And this is our video frame rate. The original frame rate was 25 and I converted it to 23,976 to match my timeline. You hit OK and then your footage is the same as your timeline and everything's playing back nice and smoothly. We're not skipping any frames. And honestly, that's something I see a lot in uh, with content creators. Uh, when they use stock footage, um, they forget to conform the frame rate to the project frame rate. And so you get jumping frames all over the place and it's it's rather annoying and it's something you should really fix and take care of before you cut your project together. Okay, so here we have our footage and what we want to do is we want to grab our text plus and what we're going to do is we're going to put it underneath the footage. Let's say first though for now let's just put it up here and let's type our title and we're just going to call this Title, very, very uh, amazing title, uh, but hey. Okay, we're gonna call this title and um, I was using tungsten and I wanna go bold because uh, honestly, it'll just work better from, uh, from a standpoint of seeing through the letters when it's a bit more bold as opposed to them being thin. Now this could be a logo. If you have a logo with an alpha channel, or what have you, you could definitely do the same thing, but obviously here we're just using text. Okay, so there's my text, and so how do we get the video inside of the text? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our text layer and we're gonna take it underneath our footage. And then we're gonna go to our footage layer, and in our composite mode, we're gonna go from normal, and we're gonna go down to multiply. And that's it. And now we have our video inside of our title. And so now if you um, enlarge title, make any adjustments. So by the way, in DaVinci, um, if you reach the maximum size here, 0.5, not to worry, you could just type in another value, let's say two. And now it's, you know, enormous. Okay, so this is the most basic premise of this effect is to put your title beneath your footage and then to change the composite mode to multiply. And this is what gives you our title. Now, in order to move the title, we are going to use the dynamic zoom effect. I was playing around with that earlier. So one of the things we need to do is we just want to make sure that this is going to be large enough to pass by the camera. So I'm actually going to make this even, let's see, let's go up to the top and I'm just going to make this, uh, let's see, make it a value of three. And so we've got plenty of room to play around. We just want to make it so that it can get very, very large. So let's say we want to start, let's just 
it doesn't really matter where it starts. Let's just start it right here, okay, so we can read it clearly. So what you'll want to do is set up your, your tracking and everything else. Once you get this position to where you want it, here's where we're going to start to apply the effects. We're going to go to our text layer, and we're going to open our dynamic zoom. And so we want to go from far back on the inside. So we're going to start much wider. So we're going to take our green, which again is start, and we're going to back out, make it nice and wide. And then we're going to take our end, and we're going to move this all the way into our letter, into the middle of the, the T. We're just going to go right into the middle of that letter. So we're going from here, it's our starting point, and this is our end point. So let's turn that off and let's see what happens. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten this down because it's a long clip and that move will take a while to do. It's, it's what's cool is it's scalable. So if you stretch your clip, if you extend this, it automatically uh, interprets the velocity of the move using these keyframes, if you will, the first position and the last position. So here's what we end up with. So indeed, we are flying in, and it's it's taking a little while. It's a little slow. I probably wouldn't do something this slow. Let's just shorten this up, and this will speed up the process. Turn that off. And so here we go, and we're flying in, and boom, we're in. Okay, now to extend this, there's something we're going to need to do to get this to go further. So if you'll notice, um, you, you can extend the footage here, but and the title finishes here, but what ends up happening is all of a sudden, everything disappears. The reason it's disappearing is that this is still set to multiply. And so because the title is already past the bounds of our footage, uh, we, we're not seeing anything. There's a very simple fix to this. Let's take our blade and we're going to cut the footage right there. And then we're going to go to this piece and we're just going to go back to normal. And so now we come out of it and there we are. And we're back in our footage. And so now you have this very nice move in. And again, this is completely scalable. So we could take this and let's say, well, we want to we want to move in a lot faster. We just want to get into this scene faster. So we can just shorten this up. We can shorten this up. And now it changes the velocity and all of a sudden we're moving in and there we are. So again, I encourage you to play around with this effect and try some different things. The most effective treatment of this is going to be dependent on the footage that you're using in the background and how you change the velocity or the speed of the move. But in essence, it, it's, it's a very simple technique, but it also looks very, very cool. And it can be really effective depending on the application or the project that you're working in. Okay, so the very last thing I want to talk about is let's say you're watching this and you're like, well, that's great with the, uh, you know, with the fly through and all, but what if I want to see just the title at the beginning and then I want to sort of change into this see-through title? Well, uh, we can do that quite easily. So in order to get that, let's go ahead and pull the title out a little bit further out in front. And so as you can see, we've got the title and then we've got our window through into the other world, but uh, that's not going to work. We don't want a hard cut there. We want to see the title and then we want to sort of bleed into that version. So what we're going to do is because this transfer mode is set to multiply, we're, we're getting this change from the title without that layer, without being attached to this layer. And so suddenly we're in. So what we're going to do is let's go to the start of this clip and we're just going to add a dissolve. And so now we're going to get a transform from the title to that world. And I would probably extend it, make it a little bit longer. So we start with our title. 
we fade into our scene inside the letters and then we enter that world. And that is how we do that. Okay, everyone, so that's gonna do it for this first part of the Fly Through Titles tutorial. In part two of this tutorial, we're gonna jump over to Adobe After Effects and we're gonna use the same concept, but we're going to take it a bit further. We're gonna jump in with a 3D camera. We're gonna make some 3D layers. We're also gonna add some foreground effect elements to make this particular title a lot more immersive. We've also got a very cool adjustment layer with a heat distortion plugin, which is giving us that sort of rippling heat effect. And again, this is meant to amplify the effect of this particular title. We're gonna get into all this in the next tutorial. We're gonna build out our own version of this from scratch so you can see exactly how it's put together. Until then, have a great day, and I will see you back here at the Video Village.